Those who have seen the kingdom of God, they know that His kingdom is not of this world. They could care less about worldly riches and the kingdoms of this world because they know that all the kingdoms and all the riches of this world will be destroyed. They will fall. Men will fall and men will die. Times will pass away. Kingdoms of this world will be utterly destroyed. But those who have seen the kingdom of heaven know that it will always exist. Jesus is the king of the kingdom of heaven. And those who serve Jesus will live forever. They will not die. Jesus said, those who believe in me, they will never die. We have a kingdom that does not exist here. But the devil tries to make people believe it doesn't exist. Even true Christians, they are duped into thinking the kingdom exists here. They think that the battle is with flesh and blood. That's why so many people today think they have to get a weapon to protect themselves. You know, I don't own any weapons. I know that the battle is not against flesh and blood. It is not against the things of this world, but our battle is against the devil. It is against those that are trying to attack the kingdom of heaven and pull and steal the kingdom of heaven away from us. The devil tries to destroy us. He tries to steal the kingdom of heaven away, even from the true disciples. If you're not willing to fight violently against the devil, he will steal away from you anything that you have, and you will not be able to enter the kingdom of heaven. He will utterly destroy you. If you're not willing to stand up and fight, if you're not willing to stand up with Jesus, stand for his namesake, testify of righteousness, then you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. The devil violently steals away the kingdom of heaven from those who are trying to enter, and he destroys them. We must violently pursue our way in because our enemy violently attacks us, and he will kill anyone who is not connected to Jesus, who doesn't know their king. Our battle is not with physical things. Our kingdom is not of this world. If it were of this world, then the kings of this world would not exist. They would not be able to hurt our flesh. But, see, people are killed and destroyed by evil. Our flesh may be killed. People all throughout generations who have believed in Jesus have been thrown in prison, they've been beaten, they've been beheaded, they've been sawn in two. They have been martyrs for the kingdom of heaven, for the namesake of Jesus, because they stood with him. Their kingdom was not of this world. Is your kingdom of this world? Or are you truly a child of the kingdom of heaven? Do you know Jesus as the king? May the grace of Jesus be with you.